gas station is seriously damaged in a fire. The clerk suffered burns, and now police say they've got the person accused of setting the fire. Fox 2's Jessica Jupnak joins us live with more. And do we know why he set this fire, Jessica? That's just it, Taryn and Roop. It is such a bizarre story. I want to tell you how it started around 3 a.m. this morning. Guy goes in, he pays cash. The customer walks back outside. You can see on security cameras. He grabs the gas per usual, but then what he does next, that's weird. There was a gas can right here. He fills it up, a trash can, fills it up with gas, then takes it inside. I want to show you the video, the inside green light video that picks it up from there. There's a words exchange, something very small, very subtle with the clerk inside. Side. Then he dumps the trash can over with all that gasoline. He happens to have a blowtorch on him, and that's when he sets it on fire. And in just seconds, you can see in that video, the whole place goes up in flames. Now, that clerk, what you don't see, uh, the police chief making the decision today to not show the video of the clerk actually running through those flames to safety. And if you look at the exterior, the perimeter of this building, that was his only way out. And amazingly, uh, we talked to him on the phone, 27 year old clerk that worked here at the Sunoco gas station off Seven Mile near Evergreen. He was treated at Sinai Grace but had first degree burns. Now some good police work by Detroit police. They arrested the 35 year old suspect shortly after this happened early Tuesday morning. We'll pick it up uh, from some with some sound from here. It's unbelievable that somebody would do this. The motives are totally unclear, but I think we, we know that this person w was not dealing with you know, their normal state of cognition. I mean, we're, there's something going on with that person. The damage caused no joke. I mean, look at this. They've been out here all day trying to make repairs. It's just the nicest folks that work out here. Uh, they describe this place in the neighborhood as a family business. Lots of the customers coming up, hugging the clerks, making sure everyone's okay. They do seem to be, but obviously business at a standstill. The good news, though, that 35-year-old suspect is in police custody, facing some serious charges, possibly attempted murder charges. Now, uh, to add to just the, the craziness, yesterday there was also a separate incident at a gas station downtown involving explosives. This all happened within 12 hours. Separate incidences. We'll get into that more later at 6. But for now, live on Detroit's West Side, Jessica Dupnak, Fox 2 News. My goodness, Jessica, it's getting ridiculous. Uh, gas station workers, the clerks have faced so much violence over the last few weeks. Uh, did this specific location by chance have security? And perhaps maybe if not, they might want to consider it after something like this. Well, they were blanketed with those green light cameras that are monitored by Detroit police, but we do know there was just the 27 year old guy here overnight, but something tells me protocol may change after this really near death experience.